Hi guys, it's your girl Hobo Kiki, and today we'll be planning in my Hobonichi cousin from the week of August 14th through the 20th. And we're going to mix it up a little by using these Missing Meow stickers that I've had for a little bit and adding this sticky club sheet here as well as this rose colored days and i was even thinking about bringing in boxes from this happy planner book abstract watercolor but you know me we gotta start here at the uh date covers using miss biz plan date covers of course nothing new here i'm taking the brown color because i think it's going to match the best you may have noticed that this week is a little bit different from the other weeks uh, in regards to like the feeling of it all, the vibe of it all. <laughs> I know you guys get tired of me saying the vibe, but you know, that's the best way to explain it. But um, yeah, this one, we're using a lot of earthy colors instead of the bright, vivid colors. And I just needed a break. I just... You know, I love my bright colors and they do make me happy, but I don't want every single page to look like in my Hobonichi cousin. I like to be able to flip the pages and like see that it's a different week. And I know like I can still see it's a different week with the other two weeks that I've done. But, you know, I just I just felt like switching it up a little bit. So we're we're using more earthy colors today. I've been wanting to use this uh, sticker book from Happy Planner for a little bit now. I really do love the quotes that are in it, as well as just uh, the soft hues that are in it. And I thought it would go well with uh, what we're doing this week. So I'll pull just the boxes from this book to begin with, starting with this extra long, extra skinny box. I just think it was made for the sidebar of a Hobonichi cousin. Like, look how skinny it is. I know the, um, what is it called? The Happy Planner sidebars are bigger than this. So to me, it just feels like it was meant to go in this sidebar for the Hobonichi cousin. And I wanted to take uh, some more boxes from here as well. So I think I'm just going to pull all these like light brown boxes out of the book. And I know future Kier is probably going to hate me for this because I am taking all the light brown boxes. And if I wanted to do a spread uh, with this with this Happy Planner book, I'm not going to have any light brown boxes to do it with. But that's a future Kier problem. <laughs> you guys know that I usually put my double box on the weekend uh, in case I want to write something that happened and I didn't have any space if you didn't know that, that's what I do. Um, you would know that if you're a real one, if you've seen all my videos, because I've talked about it before. <laughs> if you want to be a real one, just make sure you subscribe and watch the videos. As for this box, I really didn't have any plans for this. I just knew that I wanted this box in here. It's <laughs> it's as simple as that. But I didn't know where to put it because I don't have any events because I really don't have nothing going on this week. So this week is actually like the perfect week to do the whole calming spread since, you know, I ain't got nothing going on. So I stuck it to the back of my hand to kind of give myself time to contemplate where I'll be putting that box at. But until I can think about it, I move on to these sticky club stickers, right? I think they're beautiful and they match very well with all the woodland vibes from the Mr. Meow kit. So I am happy to use them. Then I decide I finally want to place that sticker over there and that's just where it's going to be. And I put that there to remind me uh, to get some coffee because we're starting our <laughs> we're starting on a decent week with like nothing fun going on <laughs> so need some coffee to get me through the week as well as to remind me that um my son needs to turn in some homework y'all got kids like young kids isn't it fun isn't it fun when they got homework that mean you have homework <laughs> like <laughs> that is my favorite part um, that is sarcasm. However, I really don't mind. I'm just making jokes. You know, I know they're too young right now to actually 
uh, do a project um, in the manner that the teacher would like to see it. So I don't mind helping. I just think it's funny. And then when you have multiple kids that are young, you basically have multiple homework assignments. So I definitely have to write them down. Otherwise, I'm going to forget, which means my kids are going to forget. So let me make sure I write that thing down. Moving forward, you know I have to do my work schedule every week. I start with this before I start writing down any other plans, uh, just to make sure that I can see what I'm working with that week, you know, how much time I got on each day. Uh, that's why I do it, and it really helps out a lot. So I think this is going to be how I plan in my Hobonichi cousin moving forward, at least for the weekly section, at least until I'm bored of it or tired of it. So that's what that is. After I got most of the function out the way, I did decide that, hey, I need some more decorations in here. It's looking a little blank for your girl. You guys know that blank pages scare me, so I definitely have to add a few more stickers uh, to make the page a little bit more inviting. I'm taking these wildflowers. I cut them in half so they can be like peeking outside of the boxes, which I thought was really cute. And then I'm also going to take uh, this coffee sticker here and place that on the box. Like I told you, that was going to be my like note to self to get some coffee. And there are a few like wild butterflies, wild butterflies, all butterflies are wild, aren't they? Well, I guess not necessarily. Like there's some people who like, I don't know, don't they like, I don't want to say make butterflies, but <laughs> like they have them in cages and like, okay, let me stop. But I know I've been to a museum where they like have stickers, not stickers, uh, butterflies roaming around and that like tormented me that scared me like that episode in <laughs> that episode in spongebob y'all know what i'm talking about uh that that really scared me and i was like scared of butterflies for a hot minute but what i'm trying to say is that i guess not all butterflies are wild and free because some grow up in captivation and that's what i was trying to say i don't know why that took so long to get that out there but you're welcome I definitely did not want to let those beautiful scripts that Miss and Meow uh, left on her sticker sheet go to waste. So I decided to add an important here. And then I'm going to make a mood tracker, but it's going to look a little bit different uh, from the ones that I typically make because with the grid box that was provided from the happy planner uh there's not enough days going across to do monday through sunday there's not enough spaces going across so i have to make them going vertically and then there's not enough to go one through ten across so i have to do one through five but i'll still know in my head oh one through six excuse me i'll still know in my head that six is like the best I give myself six stars if I'm feeling the best and one star if I'm feeling the worst and it'll still work. It's just a different set of numbers, but it'll still do the job. I did want it to add these little doodles around the butterflies to make it look like they're flying. I don't know. I just thought that was cute and that's something that a lot of people been doing, but I see why it's very adorable. So I'm going to hop on that train as well. I'm adding uh, these leaf stickers to get some more decoration in. There's a few cute little tiny mushrooms in this kit as well. So I wanted to add those because they're so adorable and I love mushrooms. Fun fact, I actually used to hate mushrooms when I was younger. I'm like, why are you feeding me these squishy things? <laughs> they're weird, but I love them now. Like, I'm, I don't love them like, eat them raw because I've seen people do that and I just don't like how mushrooms taste raw it's like they're I don't know they're rubbery and they kind of got like a squeaky taste you know what I'm talking about they taste squeaky I said what I said <laughs> so I don't mess with them if they're raw but cooked oh yes I can I can throw down on some mushrooms that are cooked I love mushrooms then I still had a lot of white space on the sidebar so I just wanted to 
add like a task list down there to you know fill up some space honestly but you know it never hurts to stay organized just by seeing like what do you have to do for the entire week instead of what do you need to do each day because some things you don't plan for the day you just know that it needs to get done sometime this week so at times the task bar at the a task bar at times the task list in the sidebar is necessary but it's not something that I do too often but this week uh, we're gonna give it a chance after that I want to make basically another list uh, this will be for goals goals to do's tasks don't forget they're all the same thing for me I don't place like more value over the other um, they just all mean things that I need to get done so that's what I'll be adding at the end of Friday I don't know what I'm looking for here it's like girl you know you need to use those circle stickers so use them <laughs> I don't know what I was like thinking so hard about but yeah now I'm placing those down because these are so cute I didn't want these to go to waste and you know they'll look good for a checklist so I had to put them down don't ask me how my <laughs> my tweezers got bent. I don't know what happened there. But moving forward, I think I'm going to go ahead and start writing things in so I can see how much space I really have left to decorate. So, of course, like I said, we're adding that Coffee Monday to remind myself this is going to be a, a pretty draining week. I'm not going to lie because there's nothing going on this week, which is like, oh... Uh, but, you know, some days are like that. Then, of course, I had to remind myself to pack the homework. Otherwise, I'm going to forget I am writing down work each day. Even though I know what it is, I just like seeing the word work because, I don't know, it's cute to have a title. I don't know, it just looks better with a title. That's like the honest answer right there. And, of course, I am going to write down all my exercise routines so I started writing that, but then I had some tasks for Monday that were work-related tasks that I wanted to make sure that I got done. So I made sure I noted those first before I forget to write them down. Then I go back to writing down all my exercise routines for the week. So I go ahead and place those down as well. Friday, there was a box and I was thinking about putting it at the top, but I'm like, no, I'm not working out in the morning. Do you guys work out in the morning? Let me know. Are you a morning workout person or a, a nighttime workout person? I prefer to work out in the morning, and I have done it when I had to work later, but it just, it just, yeah, I can't do it when I have to go straight to work right afterwards, like hop in and shower and go straight to work. It's like, no, I need some time to breathe. Okay, so now I am placing this sticker down, these quote stickers down, and they're very beautiful. I really love what they say. Uh, they're definitely gonna help me get through the week. Hold on, let me see if I can read them for you. So that clear one between Tuesday and Wednesday says, let yourself rest, which, you know, that's what we were just talking about. And then that dark brown one says, strength is what we gain from the madness we survive. And if that ain't a sermon for somebody, <laughs> Because, girl, yeah, girl, been having, you know, the last couple weeks has been like, whoo, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get through it. But it's just like, okay, we can relax a little. <laughs> but, you know, I know everything is working for me for a reason. So I have stopped trying to fight things and just let things be as they are. And I have come completely at peace with a lot of things that used to drive me crazy so I don't know maybe that's the lesson in everything to just really go with the wind uh, to be honest that's what I've been doing and it's been working for me you know uh, so I'm not going to do too much complaining but now I'm just writing in my exercise routine which if you know you know <laughs> it's no secret that I just follow Grow with Joe so yeah we're just writing down uh, everything that she has planned in her community tab for this week. And I wanted to fill in that space for Thursday. 
So I decided to write like a countdown. So I'm writing down one week until the Beyonce concert. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Your girl is going to go see Beyonce. My bestie got us tickets. So I am so grateful. And that's what I'm saying. It's like as soon as I stop trying to control things and just like go with the flow, things just started happening for me. So I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing that until, you know, I feel like it's not a it's not a good thing to do. But honestly, things have been working out for me. I've stopped fighting the universe, and uh, the universe is providing. So I'm I'm happy, you guys. <laughs> that's the that's what I'm really just trying to say. I'm happy, and I hope you guys are happy as well, and that the universe is treating you kindly as well. I'm actually very happy with this spread as well. It's very peaceful and very calming. I think it's perfect for this quiet week that I have going on this week. I hope you like it. If you did like it, please make sure you leave a like. And that's it for now. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.